My name is Buck Duma. I am the Facilities Operations Manager here at CITC. I've been here um, not quite two years almost. We built the house in an area that uh, you know is completely off-grid. In order for us to have power, um, it would cost us about $200,000 just to get power just to the end of our driveway, not including the additional 2,000 to 2,500 feet into our um, into where our house is. So yeah. So uh, we really, really enjoy doing it. Um, we do have a bunch of animals. Um, we do right now transport our own water, um, and but everything is off grid. It is kind of nice uh, that you know when there's power outages for everybody else, like during that 100 mile an hour storm, uh, we were inside with our wood stove and watching Netflix, and you know we were just enjoying life. So it was it's pretty cool. Wow, that's a good one. Um, if I were a wrestler, wow. Probably my my entrance music would like to be probably Eye of the Tiger, which is kind of, you know, like probably a pretty common answer. But <laughs> in a zombie apocalypse, oh man, um, wow, Keanu Reeves probably. <laughs> <laughs> Worst fashion decision I ever made was when I was in my teens. Um, I was went through what I call my Fred Durst phase. I had the backwards red hat and the silver chain and all of that. So I would say that was probably my worst fashion, fashion decision that I could have made. I would say that my favorite personal quality about myself is that um, I'm very good at thinking on my feet. Um, I'm a problem solver. So, you know, any situation that I get in, um, if it's sink or swim, I'm going to swim every time. Um, and that's, I think, one of the big reasons why my wife was not nervous at all about moving to Alaska off grid. Um, she's originally from California. I'm originally from New York. Uh, you know, so moving off grid is a huge step, um, but uh, it has been fantastic. And she has no concerns with it because I can think on my feet so quickly and solve any problem that comes up. So. My wife worked for a tribal organization for 14 years back in Washington. Um, she absolutely loved the family atmosphere of it, um, that everybody was working together for a common goal. And so when I saw the opportunity to work for CITC um, and help out you know, people that are in need and people that really, really just need a helping hand, they want to be able to work. They want to be able to, um, you know, uh, flourish and uh, get through their recovery. If I can help out to support the people that are supporting people directly, it's a win-win. <laughs>